model your game after and what point guards did you enjoy to watch? Uh, growing up, I uh, enjoyed watching uh, Magic Johnson. He was my idol uh, because of the way he played the game and the fun that he had. And uh, I guess today's point guard, I like watching Darren Williams, uh, Rondo, uh, Steve Nash, those guys play the game uh, at a high level and they're pretty, pretty talented. You've talked about playing possibly with Darren next season. What thought have you given to going wherever Darren goes? Uh, well, it wouldn't be a bad situation to back up Darren. He's a very talented player. So um, that's something that's been talked about, but we'll see here shortly what happens. Do you see Rajon Rondo as a mold of you with his rebounding ability? Oh, man, he, he fills up the stat sheets. Uh, he's a triple-double and waiting to happen every night. So I think uh, it's something that uh, – of what he does. Of course, you've said that. Of course, you played against LeBron James in the NBA Finals last year. How has that made you look at him, a guy who struggled against the Dallas Mavericks last year and then plays the way he did against them? Well, he, he's our MVP uh, for the regular season and also for the Finals. So, you're talking about a guy who's playing at a high level, a guy who's not playing on the same planet. I mean, he, he's just he's playing very, at the best. So, I think. I'm very happy to see that he won. He's a good friend of mine, and I'm happy that he won the championship. Since your last NBA contract, the way NBA news has been spread has changed with Twitter. How have you been able to maintain your account without possibly seeing rumors about yourself and being urged to reply? I just, you just have to stay the course and, and not jump the gun uh, and just understand that Twitter is now a big uh, uh, communication of letting people know what happened, so you just have to be patient until July 1. And you said you would enjoy the opportunity to back up Jeremy Lin. Jake, just end the game. Photo here.